very fruity, a light citrus note. Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning, I'm the master taste of whiskey.com and today we are at the McMura distillery at the Bromstedt bottling. Um, and McMura is a uh, northern Swedish distillery, a few hours drive north of Stockholm, uh, close to the town of Gävle. I visited uh, the distillery and the distillery has the name uh, Gravity because it's in a huge tower, I think seven, eight stories high. And uh, this is one of the most modern, most tidy, shining distillery I've ever seen. And it was uh, put into production in 2011, I think. And who thinks, oh, this is modern, no whiskey at all. Well, inside this distillery, there are two old fashioned Scottish copper pot stills made by a Scottish company, Forsyth, and uh, everything around it is so tidy, so clean and modern. Gravity is the name of the distillery because uh, all the ingredients of the whiskey are pumped up to the top story uh, of the tower, the concrete tower, and from there uh, uh, all the ingredients are moved by gravity down uh, to the uh, cask bottling and this is as it was done in the old distilleries in Scotland as well where uh, the horse uh, caps uh, moved all the ingredients to the very top of the distillery and then by gravity all the fluids uh, flow down uh, to the warehouses where finally the cask rests and from there they were shipped to the final customer. So gravity is an old principle inside whiskey distilleries. Um, this Blomstedt is a seasonal uh, bottling and is uh, in 2016 um, the spring bottling. Blomstedt tit means uh, time in Swedish and Blomste means flowers. So it's a flower time, it's the spring. Um, and well, these uh, writings in, in pink is quite weird uh, for a whiskey, uh, but the color of the whiskey, it's, it's really dark, it's impressive. Uh, it's uncolored, until filtered, 46.1 ABV, and the price is around 50 euros. And uh, well, the coloring uh, comes from the cask they used. The age of the whiskey, no age statement on it, um, probably quite young from the new Gravity Distillery, so not older than five years, probably less. And uh, well, they did uh, an impressive job in cask management. Uh, they used American white oak casks, ex bourbon casks, and they were, well, sucked with uh, sherry wine not sherry from Jerez, from Spain, but sherry uh, from uh, the fruit, the sherry fruit. And uh, well, those were wet casks and they used Oloroso and PX sherry cask as well. So quite fruity and quite sweet sherry casks for the maturation. And uh, well, the uh, sherry casks, hmm, <laughs> sherry casks, very good. Um, Uh, accounted for a third of the cask used. So, yeah, have a look at it. I had already some. This is a plastic cork. This combines uh, very well with the uh, the tidiness and the cleanness of the distillery uh, because a plastic cork can never have a bad taste. And uh, I had some. McMuras already and they are quite well interesting and different from each bottling to the next one. So have a look at this one. It's so dark, it's uncolored. Unbelievable. How does a sherry 
blossoms smell? I think not at all. <clears throat> so what you are triggered in your brain is sherry, the fruit. And when you smell, you really find the sherries. But I think I'm influenced in finding them and it's not that strong. It's very fruity, a light citrus note, berries, and well, there is some, some influence from the casks. There's some anise seed, alcohol, 46.1 ABV, and officially there's some tobacco, not smoke, uh, unburnt tobacco and ginger in the smell, but I can't find them. No, there's some <clears throat> vanilla and caramel coming up. Mm -hmm. Quite an impact. Ah. <laughs> the cask is strong. 46.1 ABV. The alcohol is pressing a lot. It's not burning. It's driving the aromas. And yeah, some some resins, berries. So there's no association with uh, blooms and blossoms and no, no, it's more autumn, <laughs> more fruit. And in the aftertaste, a little bit drier. There's oak in it, starting to turn these light bitterness on, but not too strong. So the bitterness is hardly to notice. And the influence of the sherry cask is very strong. Yeah. But the sweetness of the peak sherry cask is, uh, is not dominant, so there's more fruitiness in it. Probably those sherry, sherries from the sherry wine uh, help to have a more fruity than sweet influence. Yeah. Hmm. Another Nas whiskey without no age statement, without an age statement on it, which I wouldn't have missed. So this is a wonderful uh, whiskey without an age statement on it. And here you can see how the cask selection and influence dominates a whiskey. And if the quality of the whiskey is all right, that you can't have, you can't feel the, the youthness of a whiskey. So that is already, well, mature or smooth when it comes from the from the stills. Then the short maturation period in very active casks uh, will add up to a complete and wonderful matured whiskey. Yeah, no age statement whiskies can be good, really. As I said, I had a few of the McMurras already, but. Um, this is uh, limited to the season and to the year. So if you're interested in, in such a uh, heavily cask loaded whiskey from McMira, yeah, you should go out and look for the casks or for the bottles from those casks. Feel free to share this video with your friends and please add your comments about this whiskey in our whiskey database on whiskey.com. <laughs>